This bus build has been a roller coaster of emotions. At first, I almost sold the bus. Then I decided to keep it. Then I decided to sell it again. Then the day I was going to sell it, it broke down. Then I decided to keep it. And here we are. Getting this subfloor down is huge progress for this build, believe it or not. <laughs> and not because of the labor, because of where I am. I am in the middle of nowhere building this bus. To get somewhere, just to get into town, it takes me 40 minutes. So this bus has challenges that I've never faced before. I'm used to driving five to 10 minutes to Home Depot and I got everything I need. So it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna get it done. And this is, let's take you back to the beginning of the subfloor. Heading to the Home Depot right now. Yeah, a typical Home Depot run used to take me about five to 10 minutes. Now we're looking at two hours. <laughs> I'm going over this mountain pass right now. It's pretty cold. I have no insulation and no heater in the bus right now. So I'm all bundled and trying to stay warm. Hopefully we make it. <laughs> I started building vans in 2019, and in 2020, I decided to start my business, Dogwood Conversions, and I've been building out vans ever since. Recently, I just decided to become nomadic. So I have no home base, and I just travel where the builds are. So if you hire me for a build and you have property for me to build on, I'll come out there and build it for you. I really like this idea of building like this nomadically instead of having a warehouse where I'm spending all this money on. Eventually I'm going to buy land and build a warehouse and everything, but this is what I've decided to do and um, I really love it so far. What's up everybody? We're out on the bus right now. We made a, it was four hours total. Took two hours to get there, but we made our Home Depot run and we got all of the wood that we need to start putting the subfloor in, insulating it, insulating the ceiling and start framing out a couple things. So super excited, super tired because it took all day. I also got the new iPhone, so that's why I didn't film the process because they had my cell phone and I couldn't film. So for today, I am going to be working on getting the subfloor sanded down. I've got this little 40 grit guy that goes on the end of my grinder. And then once that's all done and sanded, I'm going to paint. <laughs> We got all the rust grinded off, obviously. 
So we're going to prep this first and then we're going to put some floor paint on and then we're going to start with the subfloor. So let's get going. Okay, we got the paint. We're prepped, we're ready to go. We're gonna lay this paint down and we're gonna get this subfloor going. Let's go. We gotta take a little bit off of that one right there. No big deal, but yeah. Woo! Subfloor. All done. What's up, everybody? So. We got our glue gun ready to go. We're gonna peel the floor up and then we're gonna glue it back down. I didn't wanna glue it down the other day because I do want it to sit for a few days after I glue it and I needed to run into town to get supplies and stuff. So today we're gonna glue it all down. So let's get to work. breath. 
And that's it. That's the subfloor, people. <laughs> oh, man. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I have weekly videos coming out. I would love the support. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. All right. <laughs> this is really big. This is the foundation of the build. And it's all done. We just gotta wait for it to dry. I am gonna get started on the insulation and the ceiling though, so that'll be a part of next week's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.